Hello friends, I am Shamshuddin. I welcome you financial accounting classes. In this class, I am going to solve problems relating to joint venture accounts. Let us read the problem. Harish and Kotresh are in a joint venture sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 1 respectively. Harish bought goods costing rupees 1 lakh and sent the same to Kotresha incurring expenses of rupees 3000. Kotresha provide goods value of rupees 48000 from his stock. Kotresha paid rupees 2000 for storage and rupees 1000 for sales expenses. Kotresha is entitled to commission at 12% on sales. He sold the entire goods for rupees 2,50,000. The accounts were duly settled. Prepare joint venture account in the books of Harish. Before solving this problem, let us understand the problem. In this problem, Harish and Kotresh are partners entered into joint venture. Harish has bought goods costing rupees 1 lakh. In similar way, Kotresh also provide goods value of rupees 48,000. Means, both partners have brought goods and incurred expenses. Harish has incurred rupees 3000, whereas Kotresha has incurred rupees 2000 for storage and 1000 for sales expenses. But the actual sales made by Kotresha in this problem. The one who is selling goods will get commission at required percentage. In this problem, Kotresha will get 12 percentage on sales of rupees 2,50,000. But they have asked you to prepare joint venture account in the books of Harish. Based on the details, let us prepare accounts. In this problem, we have to prepare joint venture account. This problem has two joint ventures who share profits and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 1. We have to prepare joint venture account in the books of Harish. First of all, we should understand the problem. In this problem, there are two partners, Harish and Kotresha. The books are maintained by Harisha, but goods are sold by Kotresha. Both of them have incurred expenses. When Harish is maintaining books of accounts, whatever the expenditure made by the Harisha, must be debited to joint venture account as to cash or bank. Harisha has incurred rupees 1 lakh for purchase. For purchase. And also he has incurred rupees 3000 for the expenses. So, both should be debited to joint venture account. In addition to that, Kotresha, one who is in charge of selling goods, has provided goods costing rupees 48,000. When co-venturer Kotresha is incurring, but books of accounts are maintained by Harisha, the Harisha should debit the Kotresha account with the amount for purchase.
I, we can write purchase or goods. So 48,000 he provided. At the same time he has incurred expenditure for storage. Storage he has incurred rupees 2,000. Sales expenses. Sales expenses rupees 1,000. Both put together is 3,000. The cottage has incurred expenses rupees 3,000. And cottage has sold goods costing rupees 2,50,000. As Harisha is maintaining the books of accounts, but goods are sold by cottage, that is sales. 2,50,000 should be credited to joint venture account because the cottage will receive sales value of rupees 2,50,000. As cottage has sold the entire goods, there is no question of a closing stock. As cottage is selling goods, for rupees 2,50,000, he will get a commission for the sales cottage account. We must debit it to joint venture as a cottage account commission. So commission is paid rupees 2,50,000 into 12 by 100. It is 30,000. After this, no other transactions are given. So we must close this by balancing 2,50,000 credit side and same should be written debit side and find out the difference. The difference will be 66,000 which is termed as profit, profit and loss account. It is a profit which must be distributed among Harish and Kotresha in their profit sharing ratio. 66,000 must be distributed 2 by 3 and Kotresha will get 1 by 3. So 44,000 for Harisha and 22,000 for Kotresha. In this way, joint venture account must be prepared. Thank you.